This video will show how to make an octahedron out of magnetic or buckyballs. Now if you take the length of the edge, which here is 5, as n in this equation, this will tell you how many magnetic balls are needed in order to make the octahedron. So for n equal to 7, it comes out to 231, which is 15 balls more than is provided by a 6 by 6 by 6 set. So what we're going to do to make up those 15 extra balls is take them from the very center of the octahedron. And that'll be the demonstration. So you start with a hexagon. Let's break up six and make a wrap around it twice. There's one wrap. and the second wrap. So we have three layers on that hexagon. We're going to put three layers on a triangle too, in a similar fashion. So wrapping around, that's one wrap. And that's two. Now we're going to make one more triangle just like that before we proceed. So break up six to make a triangle. Wrap around twice as before. Now, even though we're going to remove balls from this, it's safer or easier if we connect them first. So I'm going to connect these two and then start removing. Okay, from the triangle, I'm going to remove three of the very center and then one additional. Don't know if you can see that, but that's four removed from the triangle. I need to remove just the six here in the very center on the hexagon. And with the very, very center, that makes seven removed from that layer. Now let's add the other triangle. I want it offset and it needs to line up between not directly on, so like that. And then we'll remove another four from the triangle. Now you really could remove any four. Sorry. The fourth one could be any of these uh, on the corners, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to, for the next layer, Find where these connect and hold tightly to the top layer there. If I were to squeeze this together, I would see that there's one, two, three, four, five triangle as the next layer. So I'll break off five, four, three. That's what's needed to go in the center of this. And I need it to line up not directly on, but in between. I need to fit it down in, in there, and then I squish it together. It doesn't always work for that to stick one triangle in and have it just push together, but this instance it does. Okay, I've broken off three. I'm going to fill in this hole. That did not work. Let's try again. There we go. And it just pops in when it's ready. And I'm going to have to dismantle this other one before 
I can proceed. And we can go ahead now and attach to the edge of this one. Now you see how that's lining up? That's the wrong direction, so I'm going to go the other way. Okay. And if we count here, we've got one, two, three, four, a four triangle. So let's try that. Four, three, two. Pull that off. Fit it on the inside. Is that lining up? Looks like it is, and then squish together. And then there'll be one left over. Let's flatten that. One left over on that side. Dip that in, and then we come back uh, around to the other side to finish off using similar techniques. So wrap this around. I think there's one more than I connected. Yeah, let's add one more. Hmm. Oh, that seems wrong. Trying to investigate what's going on. Okay. Okay. I already know that it's a five triangle, but there's a squish for you to see. So five, four, three. Needs to fit down in. Oh, that's lining up directly. I want it between. Okay, push it down and then squish together. And then I need to fill it with three pieces. There we go. Now, I have one stretch left of magnetic balls. I need to find where it attaches between. Looks like I got it. Okay. Do I have one too many here? Hard to tell. Seems like I do. Let's connect those. Yeah. Okay, so it should be a four triangle. So four, three, two. And then the last one will go in the very center. So let's fit this together. Nope, oh, that's not lining up right. There we go, that lines up between. Put it in the middle, squish together, then add the very last one. And there you have it. A N equals seven octahedron. So thanks for watching.